And we're back. Living and Run Health and Fitness Radio. Ryan Fran and Paul Tarek here with you on Wednesday night, as we are every Wednesday night. Living and Run Health and Fitness Radio. That's what we do. And we're on ESPN 1280 following the Sports Bite every Wednesday night from 6 to 7. Big game on the Central Coast this Friday evening. It is the MLS Central Coast Showcase. The San Jose Earthquakes will be taking on the Colorado Rapids 6 o'clock at Cal Poly. GoPoly.com for tickets. We're also giving away a couple tickets. What you need to do is go to our Facebook page, facebook.com slash livingtherun, and we have a little quiz up there for you, a question about our guest, Jean-Marc Alexandre, who is coming on in just a moment. Uh, be the first 10 to correctly tell us how many goals and assists he had combined last season with Real Salt Lake. And the first 10 who correctly do so will be entered in a drawing, and you will be eligible for two tickets to the MLS Central Coast Showcase on Friday night at Cal Poly. All right, let's bring in Jean-Marc Alexandre. Let me say as a earthquake. Jean-Marc, how you doing? We appreciate you stopping by and living the run with us. I'm doing good. How are you? Very good. I was looking over your bio today. Uh, let's go over some of the stats for our listener. Very impressive. We were talking about the old body fat percentage uh, recently, but you're 25 years old. You're a native of Haiti. Grew up in Florida, though. You play for the Haitian national team. Your first three years in the MLS, you were with Real Salt Lake, and this is your first season with San Jose. You go 5'11", 190, 4.8% body fat. Very impressive. First of all, how much are you guys looking forward to the game on Friday night, the MLS showcase at Cal Poly? We're looking forward to it. It's, uh, it's another game to get better during the preseason. And so it'll be, it'll be a game where both teams are working hard, trying to impress the coaching staff, and, and it'll be a very competitive game. How important is this for you guys and some of the players? We know it's just a preseason, so-called exhibition-friendly game, call it what you will. But how is important it for you guys, maybe some of the people later on the bench that are trying to get some playing time, and like you said, trying to impress your coaching staff? It's uh, very important. It, in reality, it's really never friendly. You know, guys <laughs> will go 100%. You know, there will be fighting and everyone's trying to win the starting position. And so um, it's important. Every every game is important, um, especially at this level. And, and, and those games are not games to, to just to play, but it's also a game to show the coaching staff that you want to play and you, you want to be part of the team. We're talking to Jan Mark Alexandre, who plays for the San Jose Earthquakes in the MLS, and Jan Mark and his Earthquake teammates will be down here on the Central Coast Friday night, playing in the MLS Central Coast Showcase, six o'clock at Cal Poly. You can still get tickets at GoPoly.com. Go to our Facebook page. We're giving away two tickets to the MLS Showcase right now. Facebook.com/slash Living the Run. And Alexander, I know you haven't been down here uh, the past few years, but the earthquakes, it's been kind of a tradition. You guys were down here last year also playing the Colorado Rapids. You've been down here uh, for the past five years as well. So for the Central Coast folks, which is a big soccer community, it's very exciting. Uh, what does the trip mean to you guys to play kind of, you know, in a neutral territory, uh, taking on the Colorado Rapids, come down here and play at a college campus where soccer is pretty big down here? It's uh, it's good, um, you know, especially like preseason. The, the the more you you know you travel and you have these trips, the the better it is. You know, if if we were to stay in one spot the whole preseason, after a while, it it kind of gets you know boring and and you feel like you're in a routine over and over. And so it's good to get away and and, and get our mind away and and be in a new place and and play in a new place. So we're looking forward to that. And I learned recently from one of your media guys, Frank, that you won the body fat composition for the earthquakes, 4.8%. Now, do you have some secret to your madness, or is that naturally gifted, or how in the world do you have less than 5% body fat? <laughs> Only God knows. <laughs> <laughs> Do you find it? Uh, do you find it hard to maintain that uh, that level of body fat and still, you know, not be injured or not get uh, not get sick? Has that been an issue at all for you, or no? Um, no, I mean, I, I, I've had I've had a meniscus surgery it was minor, and I recovered from it uh, pretty fast. But I mean, um, 
Oh, it's not naturally naturally given from me by God, but at the same time, you know, it's a lot of hard work, a lot of running in the off season, taking care of the body, eating the right food, and and exercising and, and running daily, and you know, just maintaining your body. Now, now stepping away from the uh, the fitness aspect of what you do, what, what's your take uh, as a soccer player? I mean, I think everybody out there knows soccer is is probably one, they probably have the most passionate fans on the planet. Uh, you know, what is it when you're a soccer player? How does that affect you when when your fans like like take take the whole thing in? Uh, I believe that was Egypt, wasn't it? Uh, Ryan, you yeah. may have seen that on the news. Mm-hmm. What is that as a soccer player? Uh, you know, how do you respond to something like that? Because uh, you know your fans are there for you and they're rooting for you and they really believe in you, and then it, and then it turns into that. Uh, how do you deal with that as a soccer player? Um, it's it's hard, you know. Um, I, I really can't say how these players are feeling, but I, I could only imagine the worst because you know I haven't been in that situation, but. You know, it's it's hard it's hard to be a player in, in that area for them. I could imagine because no one wants to win more than the players themselves that are playing on the field. And so and so when the fans, you know, react this way to to a team losing, it's, it's not as if the team wants to lose. Every every player in the field wants to win. And so the fans in their mind thinks that they want to win more than than the players us who play the game. And it's unfortunate because, you know, these players, soccer is, is their passion and it's, it's their job, it's, it's their love. And, and for them to not feel safe doing that, you know, it, it, it's, a hard, it's a hard thing. Definitely a lot of passionate soccer fans out there. We're talking to Jan Mark Alexandre, professional soccer player with the San Jose Earthquakes, and he will be down here on Friday night for the NLS Central Coast Showcase taking on the Colorado Rapids at Cal Poly inside Spano Stadium, 6 o'clock. To win two tickets to that game, you can check out our Facebook page and tell us how many combined goals and assists Jean-Marc had last season with Real Salt Lake. First 10 people to correctly do so will be entered into a drawing, and you can win two tickets to the big game on Friday nights. It's always exciting uh, to have the Central Coast Showcase down here, the MLS Showcase, that is. So, Jean-Marc, what do you do nutrition-wise? Obviously, soccer, there's a lot of training, practice. You're doing, obviously, a lot of running. Do you watch what you eat pretty strictly? Or do you have some superfoods, some uh, secret foods that you are eating? Uh, how's your nutrition and your diet? Um, it's, it's average, you know. It's not, um, I don't really have any food, especially I eat, you know. Um, my big meals, I always try to have a, a salad on the side. And um, other other than that, it's, it's it's mostly from training. You know, it's a lot of training. You could you could you should eat healthy, and it's and it's very good to eat healthy. But when you when you don't eat healthy, it's it's even more required for you to do a lot more exercises. So the 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 healthier you eat, the less exercise you need to do, and the the un, the more unhealthy you eat, the more exercises you need to do. And I can tell you, young Mark, you better uh, enjoy this period that God has given you, this less than 5% body fat, because as the older you get, it's not going to be so easy. And I do like that you're eating salads and all that in there, too, but uh, it doesn't hurt to be 25 and doing all this as well. So enjoy it now, because, as I know, <laughs> as, you speak from experience, as we speak from experience, exactly. it will go away soon. Do you do, okay... Yeah. <laughs> do you do I'm a big fan of the coconut water I kind of been leaning towards that are you paid by like a coconut company I'm just like asking, every week I, oh, do you believe in coconut water do you drink coconut water Jan Mark before yeah. I was so rudely interrupted by my co host what do you drink during games is it water only do you do a traditional Gatorade Powerade sports drink are you a coconut water guy some green tea what are you doing during the game I actually love coconut water. I'm not ah, even joking. My favorite I'm not even joking about. right now. I brought, I brought a pack of coconut water last night. <laughs> awesome. Okay, now why? I'm not even on that. Help me explain to my co host, Paul Tarek, the former Olympian, why you opt for coconut water over the traditional sports drinks. I heard it, it's supposed to rehydrate you better than, than, uh, than water and. Uh, and Hopefully, I hope they because I drink it a lot. 
I tell you, it does. It has five uh, electrolytes in it. It has a little bit of sugar for a quick energy boost. And there's none of those chemicals you'll find, that red dye 40 and that yellow whatever 80 in there, uh, as opposed to some of the popular sports drinks. No high fructose corn syrup. Uh, so Corn sugar. Yeah, they want you to call it corn sugar. So, Jan Mark, stick with the coconut water. You're making a wise decision. Tell us about a uh, typical kind of maybe an off-season or, or let's go during the season when you're training with the earthquakes. What's the training and the conditioning program like on a day-to-day basis? Um, I mean, right now, preseason, preseason is the toughest. Because, you know, you have days where you go twice a day. You know, training in the morning, training in the afternoon. And um, once the season once the season gets going, it can slow down a bit because, you know, the coaching staff didn't know how important it is for us to, to be well rested throughout the weekend and so we could perform on the weekends. And so during preseason, we've been going twice a day, and and it, it's pretty tough. It's pretty tough with the running and the fitness involved in it. How much weight training, if any, do you guys do? Obviously, being soccer, a sport of running, you don't want to get too bulky, but having some muscle definitely doesn't hurt. How much weight training do your coaches and trainers kind of guide you towards and is that a part of your training regimen as well yes it's a it's a, it's a part of our training regimen we've we've been going uh doing weighting twice a week you know like you said with cycle players you don't want to bulk up too much but i mean weight training is very really important just for the muscles and the joints and it's one of those things that you know the, the more you do it, the, it it's preventing you from getting injured it's one of those things i wish i didn't a lot younger. What's the one thing aside from running that you concentrate the most? Whether it's lifting legs, working on your core and your abs, upper body. What's the one thing away from cardio and running that you concentrate on? Uh, as far as probably more in the weight training realm. I would I would say my um, flexibility. Mm, what do you do for okay. that? Because I'm a, I'm a big guy, and so my muscles, they tighten up. It's, when I run, it's like I'm fighting against myself. And so the more flexible I am, the easier it is for me to run. And so what I actually do, I, I don't know if you, you guys ever heard of Burkham Yoga. Oh, yeah. Is that the, like the hot room, like 120 yeah, degrees? Right, right, right. I, I, do that, I do that in the off-season a lot, you know, especially in the off-season. I, I do it every day a week. Every every day of the week, and um, it it helps a lot. It it's uh it's actually been helping me a lot with my flexibility. So, what is a a class a Bikram yoga class? What does that entail? It's like around forty five minutes, and we're just in a in a heated room. I think the temperature is over a hundred and something degrees. It's like regular yoga, but just in an oven. <laughs> it, it, it is. It's, it's, I did it one time, and it was it was it, it was excruciating. And then when you're watching like a 45 year old lady or 50 year old lady do it, and she comes out and she's barely breaking a sweat. You're like, man, I'm in the wrong. <laughs> I'm in the wrong class. <laughs> I know the first class I went into after 20 minutes, I walked out. <laughs> I, 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 like, I honestly, I, like, I, I honestly felt like I was gonna throw up, but not not in a good way. Like it would feel better. Like I felt like I was gonna throw up, and then it was all just gonna go downhill. Yeah, that's how I felt. We're talking once you get once you get used to it, you start you know you start getting used to it, and you can notice the difference. After two weeks, I noticed the difference in my running mechanic mechanics. I noticed the difference in my body, and I, I toned up a lot more. So it's definitely good. It's something I recommend to all athletes. Bikram yoga, coconut water. Some of the top recommendations. I agree with both of those. We're talking to Jan Mark Alexandre from the San Jose Earthquakes. He'll be in town Friday night for the MLS Central Coast Showcase, taking on the Colorado Rapids. So, Jan Mark, after you go through a brutal game, uh, recovery-wise, ice, you get in the hot tub, massage. What do you do to recover and get ready for that next game? Oh, the uh, cold tub is a good one. Cold tub. How how uh, painful is that, and how much does does that work for you? Oh, it's, it's painful. You know, the <laughs> first two minutes is the, is the toughest, but once you, you, you pass the two-minute mark, your body pretty much gets numb, and so you don't feel anything, but, I mean, it, it feels really good after work. It, after work, it works, it works very well. It's actually one of the things I noticed that helps me recover the most. And then, and then to um, replenishing your body with fluid is, is very important after the game, and and also putting the right food in your system. 
Yeah, Mark, what, what can we expect for Friday night's game uh, with Colorado at, here at Cal Poly? I know a lot of, this is a big uh, soccer community, a lot of adult leagues, a lot of youth leagues, a ton of soccer fans around here. We don't get a chance to see much professional soccer. We either go up to you guys in San Jose or down to L.A., check out those guys. Uh, what can we expect for Friday's game with the earthquakes against Colorado Rapids? I mean, um, you expect a competitive game, and I think I think um, the fans will appreciate that. Like like I was saying earlier, there's no such thing as a friendly game I, at that level. Every guy wants to play hard and, and be tough. And I mean, since like you guys said, you don't get to see much professional soccer around there. Hopefully, you guys can see soccer at a higher at a higher level, the highest in America. Can we guarantee? One more goal than last year's 1-0 game with you guys in Colorado. We need at least two goals, Jan Mark. Can we, can we guarantee that? There's no guarantee in the <laughs> my friend. You know that. All right. Well, do your best to make it at least two goals. And uh, if you score, we're going to be going nuts for you. We appreciate you coming on, uh, living the run with us on livingtherun.com. Best of luck on Friday night, and we will see you uh, on Friday. Thank you. See you guys on Friday. All right, Jan Mark Alexandre from the San Jose Earthquakes joining us on Living the Run. If you want to win two tickets to the MLS Central Coast Showcase, you can go to our Facebook page and answer the question, how many combined goals and assists did Alexandre have last year for Real Salt Lake? First 10 to correctly answer that will be thrown into a drawing and selected at random, and you will get two tickets. Ticket prices are $15 for adults, $10 for youth and seniors. GoPoly.com for tickets if you can't win with us. Bikram Yoga, Coconut Water, and Be Gifted from God. <laughs> Good advice. <laughs> uh, two out of three, you can get 67% of the way there. Not bad. <laughs> you like that, Paul? I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah, I just you, you're trying to sell the coconut water. I mean, do you I'm have just, some sort of no. you know, some sort of sponsorship? I'm not aware of. It. Trust me, we could use it, but I don't have it. I, if I find something good, I'm going to let you know about it. Oh man, I I'm you. starting to see a lot of soccer guys, MMA guys, going to the old coconut water. You know, those chemicals in the Gatorade and Powerade—they're great and all, but they're not powering you up. And there's barely any potassium in there. Coconut water, people. Five electrolytes. I haven't had a cramp in my life. You've been, a cra- you've been drinking coconut water your whole life? No, but... Oh, there we go. But okay. now I'm, I'm ancient. I'm the oldest I've ever been. <laughs> I haven't cramped yet. All right, when we come back, we're giving away... Hey, how about this? How we are just clearing out the prize closet. We're giving away a free entry into the slow marathon and half marathon. We'll talk to the race director, Samantha Pruitt, let you know how you can win that. And we'll get you some beginning tips and give you all the details about the slow marathon coming up in April. That and more when Living the Run, Health and Fitness Radio on ESPN 1280 continues. You're listening to Living the Run on ESPN Radio 1280 The Ticket. So, where's the best place to